These flat aluminum discs stretch their limits to filter drinking water. This simple canister can trap dangerous chemicals, bacteria, molds, and other nasty things. When installed under a sink, a water filter like this cleans tap water by filtering out particles and contaminants. The shiny silver canister holds it all together, but it's the stuff inside the canister that's doing all the work. To make a water filter, you first have to make the canister. And believe it or not, the tall, narrow canisters actually start out as flat aluminum discs that get shaped and stretched inside a machine called, what else? A can maker. First, a hydraulic ram presses each disc into a cup-shaped die. Then, the disc pops out of the die, reshaped into a little cup. Here comes the ram again, bearing down on one of the discs in the die. It takes 2,000 pounds of pressure to reshape the disc into a cup. A clamp grabs the cup and places it on the end of another hydraulic ram. Then, the second ram pushes the cup through several round openings, each one slightly narrower than the last. Squeezing through the narrow openings forces the aluminum to thin and stretch. As the cup becomes taller and taller, until the cup is stretched into a 10-inch canister. Finally, a blade cuts the canister to size. And a press adds the dimples and rims that hold on the water filter cap. When the canisters are finished, an industrial strength washing machine gives them a good scrubbing to remove the coolant, grease, and other contaminants that could have been picked up inside the can maker. Then the canisters are loaded onto a rotary table that heats them up to 580 degrees and spins them past sprayers that coat the insides of the canisters with a plastic coating. Once it's baked on, the coating protects the canisters from rusting. And it prevents contaminants in the aluminum from leaching into the drinking water. After passing through an oven, the canisters shoot out into a quenching bath to cool off. This cures the plastic coating, guaranteeing the drinking water never comes in contact with the aluminum surface of the canister. The canisters are now ready to be filled with the filtration materials. They include a bundle of plastic-based filtration fabric that sits on top of some black powder, which is activated carbon or a byproduct of superheated coal. The carbon goes into the canister first. It's extremely clean, porous, and absorbent. And it acts like a magnet for toxins, sucking out the bad stuff and letting the fresh water flow through. The plastic-based fabric comes in huge rolls. A machine cuts down the rolls and heat seals a half dozen layers of fabric together to make a single filter. Another machine folds the layered fabric into an accordion shape so it will fit inside the canister. A machine attaches a cap to each fabric filter and a worker places one filter in each carbon-filled canister. A press forces the cap down into the canister. And a rollover machine crimps the metal lip around the cap for an airtight seal.
the cap has to go on tightly like this to be sure outside contaminants don't find their way into the filter. The cap gets a quick lube job, the final protection against leakage. Then all that stuff that went into the filter is ready to catch particles in your water that are just one one-hundredth the width of a human hair.